Alright guys, Biddle Ferret here and welcome back to, I guess I'm going to call it like a manga first take kind of video here. I'm hoping to just make this short. I just want to talk about uh, manga for a little bit and just kind of give you just my thoughts on it so far. And so basically today we're going to be looking at kind of a really rather serious volume or book so far in my opinion. And we have right here, hope you can see it, I can't really put it, I can put it up here but it's just going to be blurry because I have a self focusing camera. But we have a silent voice and so this is published by... Kenichi Comics, and it's by. Gosh, why did I? Why did I even do this to myself? Yoshiroki Omaya. I'm gonna guess that. It's probably not quite right, but you guys get the point. So, so far, the story revolves around a, primarily a young man, and it's more like elementary school kind of thing. Um, basically, his name is Shoka Ishiada, and so. Basically, he's sort of a troubled youth kind of thing. Um, he's kind of got some friends that kind of do what he says. Uh, he really kind of gets himself into a lot of trouble. Um, he's a bit of a bully. And basically, his whole kind of shtick is uh, school is boring and he wants to make life interesting. And so, basically, he kind of gets into troubles. He gets into some fights. You get kind of some development between him and his classmates and especially his, his friends. And so, he's like two close friends, he's like two like guys that you can almost tell right from the get-go, they kind of don't want to do the stuff he does anymore, he daredevil stuff, and they're kind of a bit uh, put off by it. And so it revolves around that, but basically the story really gets going, when you in enters, I'm just going to keep looking down the name because I have it written down over here because I'm so professional. We have Shoko Nishiyama, and so Shoko is a very sweet, really cute, just young little girl that enters their class as a transfer student. And basically, the first thing they're introduced about her to her is she comes in and she has a notebook, basically like this, and she writes in it and kind of does stuff like that. And so they find out, they're like, what the hell is with this chick? So basically, she's basically deaf. She can't hear. She has hearing aids and lets her like hear a little bit, but like if you spoke really loud kind of thing. And so it, it revolves around that and basically, he's so young and immature he doesn't understand what's wrong with her almost. He kind of does, but he's so callous and heartless already as a character. Um, he's kind of got this idea of basically she comes in and she starts disrupting everything in class. And so everything in class is now more difficult. If she raises her hand to make an answer, she has to wait to write it down first, so it delays class. In choir class, she can speak, but if you've ever heard a deaf person speak, they have trouble with it. Um, it just doesn't come out quite right. Uh, they're, they're oftentimes tone deaf or like volume. They don't really know how to gauge it super well. And so choir, uh, it starts to be affected. And so he starts making small little jokes, like yelling behind her to see if she can hear him. Uh, making really loud noises, stuff like that. And it starts out small, but then he finds that the other students laugh. The other students find it funny. And uh, the teacher scolds him at first, but the teacher gets tired of dealing with him and his antics. So he really starts not worrying about it. And so that's like one of the biggest things here. I think maybe the least believable thing, and maybe this isn't true. Uh, maybe this is something that really does happen, but maybe the least believable thing about the about this first volume was the teacher. Uh, basically the teacher lets it, I mean, maybe that, that actually, I mean, not, the more than I think about it, maybe not, I'm like debating with myself here. The teacher lets everything go on too long and then covers his own ass or tries to, you'll see, I don't, wanna, I don't really wanna spoil anything here. But um, that's that's not. This isn't supposed to be spoilery. I'm just kind of telling you what I think about it and like giving you an overview. And so, basically, that's kind of what happens here. I should like put this up here. Can you like see it if I? Yeah. I'll put it like up, even though it won't be in focus. And so, yes. And so, basically, small jokes, small pranks. But he begins to realize that she disrupts everything. Everyone laughs when he makes fun of her. She must be an alien being sent to disrupt in them. And he wants basically. He's a bully. He's mean and he wants to see how far he can push her. And the more he pushes her, the angrier he almost gets because he doesn't get the reaction he's looking for. And so basically the rest of the class jumps in um, and it's unbelievable. It, it, it ends up with a culmination of them doing something really, some really, really awful things. I'm not going to spoil it. I won't say what happens, but um, some really awful things. 
And so it's a really deep book. And basically what was really struck me about this about this book was the very first uh, time you see them is actually in high school. So this most of the whole first book takes place back when they're kids, when they meet in school and everything that happens. And so the first time you see them, the first few pages is actually them when they're older and they meet uh, in high school. And so it was almost heartbreaking. The, one of the first few like panels like in there um, of you see, of you see uh, Shoko's face uh, is almost heartbreaking. Uh, it was almost just the, the terror in her face at just seeing him um, really struck me before I even got into the book. I mean, this book... I, wa I mean, I was so mad when I finished reading it. Um, and it wasn't to the point where it was hard to read. It was very heavy. Um, it was a very heavy matter in the book. But it wasn't like it was ever like too awkward to read, if you kind of know what I'm saying. So, basically, it's a story almost that seems like it might be leaning towards like a story about maybe like redemption and the effects of bullying and what your actions can do uh, to affect somebody's entire life and so a really good a really good book a really good first volume I mean I would recommend this to not just people who enjoy manga I would recommend this book uh, I don't obviously know where it's gonna go yet this is the first volumes out this is more of just for me initially reacting to it I liked it a lot uh, it was it was heavy uh, it was different from a lot of the other stuff I've read and so it was just, I mean, it was so, it was, it was good. I, I'm, I know I'm rambling a little bit at this point, so I'm going to start wrapping this video up. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, so I'm just trying to, like, stay in that box of not giving away everything that happens in it. And so, really interesting to see how a bully's mind progresses. Um, the, a little bit you start to see from the victim's perspective. Uh, the perspectives and the friendships and the betrayals that happen in the book are what really make it, like, even heavier. Uh, especially when um, the main character there, um, Shoya, almost doesn't want to accept something that happens about halfway through the book. Um, but something that's starting to happen to him. And so, really interesting. So, anyway guys, A Silent Voice, Kinenichi Comics, Volume 1 just came out. And... The rest of the volumes, I'm going to get a close-up so you guys can see. The rest of the volumes will be coming out uh, shortly, really not too far from now. Um, I think they're going to come out like every other month, so that's that's really cool. And so, am I in focus? No, I'm not. See, I messed it all up. So anyway, guys, thanks a whole bunch for watching this video. Uh, definitely recommend going and putting this book out. It was, there we go. It was really good. Really, really good. I recommend it. So anyway, guys, uh, not like a heavy review, but a bit of a heavier subject matter, I guess. So... Anyway, I have been Fiddle Fair. If you guys don't know about my channel, I do figure unboxings primarily. It's where I started. But I've started to dabble a little bit in visual novels off Steam. Uh, these kind of videos, like these manga impressions, if you like them, tell me. Uh, that would be really great to hear. But I do these because they're fun, and I like to do them. I have a lot of manga. Um, a lot. A lot of manga. Go watch my haul videos. Shameless plug. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Lots of manga. You'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks a whole bunch. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I recommend you go and pick this up. I have been Fatal Ferret, and I will see you back on the prowl next time in another video. Bye-bye.